Hey guys, so this video is me all about how you can make your makeup last all night. Now this doesn't necessarily have to only work for Halloween, but I thought it would be a great video to put in my Halloween series because whenever you do your makeup for Halloween, it usually is very dramatic, over the top, exciting, and that would just be really annoying if it didn't last all night. So I want to give you some products that you can apply before and after you do your makeup to make sure it lasts all day and night. Give you a primer for your face. I have four to show you. And I love these all, they're all awesome, and they all are different prices, and some might be easier for you to get than others. So first would be the MAC Prep and Prime. I really like this one, this is an awesome face primer. Next is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have a little travel size version, and I really like this one. The other, um, definitely more affordable one would be the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. Now these two are definitely very, very similar to one another. This is just kind of the higher end. These are both that kind of silicone feeling, but they are amazing at making sure your makeup doesn't move. And this one's just a really nice primer from MAC. I really love how it can keep your makeup lasting all day. It feels nice, doesn't irritate my skin, and a lot of stuff from MAC does, but this doesn't. And the fourth primer is from Stila, and it's a one-step correct. So it's going to fix your skin tone, even it out, and it's also going to brighten your face. So this is amazing. This is a really awesome primer. Issa uses it. I use it occasionally. And what's awesome is even though there are all these colors in it, they swirl into one and you don't even see it on your skin. It's an amazing primer and I love that it color corrects too and it really brightens your skin. This is an awesome primer. If you're looking for a new one, I definitely can recommend this. And you also should pick up a primer for your eyes. I have three right now with me. The first one is this one from e.l.f. It's only a dollar. It's an amazing eyelid primer. I talk about it all the time. This next one is from MAC. It's a um, paint. This is an base light. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. And what's nice is you can get a primer that has color. So let's say you're doing a dark makeup look. Maybe you can get a brown or black primer or like a silver one. Or you can get a neutral primer like this e.l.f. one. So this is just a nice nude color. It can work with any eyeshadow look no matter what you're doing. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it, so that's really nice. It will intensify your colors and give you a little bit of color payoff. So, let me see. I'll swatch it for you guys. Like, look at how pretty that is. So, it's super shimmery. Definitely will add to your colors. It won't just intensify them. It will make them look even more dramatic. And the third one is this one from NARS. I really love this primer. It is a little more expensive, but it does an amazing job. And it's a white primer, but then when you blend it in, it's clear, you don't even see it. So this is amazing at keeping your eyeshadows lasting all day and night. So you can either get one with color or without color. I also really like the MAC Paint Pots. They're about this size and they're really awesome. They're a good consistency and you can get them in colors, you can get them in a nude, neutral color, similar to your skin tone, depending on what you want to do with your makeup. So now products for your lips. I would definitely recommend getting some sort of stain or extended wear lipstick or lip gloss. The first one I have to talk about is from Rema London. This is the Kiss and Stay Gloss. So there are two parts to it. First you apply this first color all of your lips. And once that first step dries, you apply the second step, which is just a gloss. And this is good to kind of moisten everything up because this is kind of drying. So you definitely need the step above it. I don't know why I put this on my hand, but it just looks really pretty. I wanted to swatch it for you. And then I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to smudge it and show you that it doesn't go anywhere. So that wasn't my initial plan, but that's a good plan right now. <laughs> so this stuff is amazing. I know e.l.f. makes one. There are a lot of brands out there that have like this two parts. I know MAC makes one if you want a more of a higher end, but this is a drugstore and then the e.l.f. is the super inexpensive version, but I love e.l.f. products, so it doesn't matter. They still work even though they're really inexpensive. And you can get them in so many different shades, but these are amazing to last all night on your lips. The next product would have to be a lip ink. Now, this one I actually got from my cousin for her wedding. She gave him to um, anyone in the bridal party and we got like a necklace. So this is really awesome. It's kind of like a little marker and you just color it on your lips. I know so many drugstore brands make these and it literally just stains your lip. So this is really awesome. It literally is not going anywhere. It is not gonna budge. It's not gonna smudge. It, is not gonna come off your lips. So this is a great lip stain. I know that, um, like I said, a lot of drugstores make one. I know they have the Just Bitten one. It's the same idea, the little marker that stains your lips. They come in so many different colors, and this is amazing. Let's say you're eating candy because you're trick-or-treating, or if you're at a party and you have a drink, so it will definitely last all day between eating and drinking, so you're fine. So now for this color over here, the top coat is not meant to like extend anything. It's just supposed to make your lips look moist and nice not look very drying because like I said this 
um, base color can be a little drying, but literally, oh, I just dropped it. But literally, I'm smudging it. It's not going anywhere. It's really good. I mean, it's not really meant to be like rubbed away, but let's say when you're eating or doing stuff like that, it will last on your lips all night long. And let's say you can't get your hands on either one of those or anything like that. You just don't like them. You can also maybe get a um, like prolonged wear lip color. This is from MAC and it's their Kissable Lip Colors and these definitely do last a little longer than their usual lipsticks. I know that if I buy a normal lipstick it normally wears off my lips in like five minutes after all the talking I do because I do talk a lot but these um, lip colors definitely do last a lot longer. Um, I'm not sure if you can get your hands on them anymore but Definitely keep an eye out for a pro long wear, something that says it's going to last a while. If it doesn't say that, then odds are it's really not going to last very long. But if you can pick up one of these like extended wear, definitely recommend it. So now once your makeup's all done, let's say you did all your face makeup, you did your lips, you did everything. Now you're going to want to make sure your makeup is set and will not smudge at all during the night. One thing you can pick up is a translucent setting powder. There are two different types. You can either get a pressed one. This one's from e.l.f and there's no color to it, like once you blend it into your skin, it's clear. And you just dust this all over your face and it will set your makeup in place. But I personally like the loose translucent setting powders a lot better. This one is from NYC. And I know you're gonna be a little scared just by um, dusting this all over your face, but trust me, if you just get a powder brush and get a little on and swipe it everywhere, it will be perfect. It's not going to ruin your makeup, but it will really set everything in place, especially your blush and your highlight and your bronzer and all the extravagant face makeup you did. And I'm going to be doing some cool tutorials coming up for Halloween. And if it's going to be more of the dramatic ones that I have to show you, I would definitely recommend setting your makeup with a loose powder because some of the tutorials I have are super dramatic and you'll be upset if it smudges or runs or goes anywhere. And another way to set your makeup is to use a setting spray. You can definitely use the powder and the spray at the same time. I have two to show you and one to talk about. The first one I have to show you is the model in the bottle. Issa has been using this for a really, 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 really long time. She loves this. I have used it a few times when I don't have the other one I want to talk about. But this is awesome. It is a little more expensive, but it's amazing at setting your makeup. Your makeup's not going to smudge if you wear this. Like This is great. Even if you want to pick it up just for your own personal use, not just for Halloween, because you can use it all year round. Let's say you have a wedding or a special day, if you have like an important date. This is amazing. I wouldn't use it every day though because it is a little more expensive. And the other makeup setter I love is the one from e.l.f. Maybe I'll insert a picture right now. Yeah, I'll do that. So I love, love, love that makeup setter. It's affordable. It has a little bit of a strange scent to it. I can't find it right now, but I do own it. I love it. I use it a lot. If you watched my um, Christmas haul, you know that I've had it and I've had it for quite some time. But Love it, it's amazing, and that, since it's more affordable, you can use it kind of every day if you just want to make sure your makeup stays in place, because I really don't like when my makeup goes anywhere. Who wants that? Like, who wants, like, their makeup to, like, sweat off? So, those are two both amazing setting um, sprays. Now, if you're last resort, you don't have either one of those, there's no way you can get your hands on either one, either one of them, and you're watching this video on Halloween and you have no options, then your last possible resort, which I do not really recommend that much, but as a last resort, you can use a hairspray. It's not the best thing to do, but a hairspray will definitely keep your makeup in place all day. I know people are probably going to leave in the comments that's the worst suggestion ever, but it does hold your makeup in place if you have no options and you really need to keep your makeup from smudging and you don't have anything else to set your makeup, try a hairspray. Definitely don't try that as your first resort, but as a last resort, Hairspray will work. And I guess one little overall tip that I wanted to share is for your eyeliners and your mascaras, I would recommend picking up a um, waterproof one, whether it's a waterproof liquid eyeliner or a waterproof eyeliner for your waterline. Definitely waterproof is the way to go. And get a waterproof mascara as well. This one is not waterproof, but it comes in waterproof form, and I love it. This is Issa's. It's her favorite drugstore mascara. I had the waterproof one, but I ran out of it. I don't use waterproof mascara a lot, but I probably had that mascara for way too long because like it definitely expired. I had it probably for over a year or so, so I had to throw it out. But what I love is this mascara has a primer. So you put this on your eyes first. So primers are always very, very important. And then you do the second step, which would be the waterproof mascara. It's 
just this really nice little brush. You can really coat your lashes very well. So waterproof is the way to go. And let's say you don't have waterproof, then I would recommend setting your top eyeliner. Like right now I have black eyeliner on. So what you could do is you could take a black eyeshadow or any eyeshadow that matches the eyeliner that you're wearing and just apply it over it to set it in place. And let's say you don't have a matching color to the eyeshadow you have, to the eyeliner you have on, I'm sorry. So let's say you have on purple eyeliner and you don't have that matching color, then take the translucent setting powder and put it over your eyeliner to make sure it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go anywhere, it stays in place. So definitely try and find an eyeshadow, otherwise the setting powder worked for your face, so it will definitely work for your eyeliner. And I guess my final tip would be to layer your products. I know I keep on saying like the final tips, but let's say you want to use a blush. I love cream blushes. This one is from Maybelline. It's the Dream Mousse blush. I love this blush. It's awesome. So let's say you want to put this one on first, then put a powdered blush over it to kind of really make it stand out and pop. And definitely do the same thing for your foundations. Let's say you wear a liquid foundation, then maybe you could put a... Um, pressed powder over it and then you can still set it with a translucent powder and you guys might think you're going to look very cakey but you do not see this translucent setting powder at all so if you do the liquid foundation and then a pressed powder over it you can still use the setting powder because you won't see it at all and if you are worried that you're looking a little cakey then other than the setting powder a mist like the Evian facial mist or the MAC Fix Plus would be great to kind of remove all that chalkiness that, you, that you're that you worried that you might have, but you really won't if you apply it with a light hand and you apply everything properly. And those are, once again, all my tips. I really think that this is the rest of them now, and that's all I really wanted to say. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and definitely use it for Halloween or any special event that you have coming up that you want to make sure your makeup lasts all day and night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.